this is Lisa with Holland Designs Crochet. Today I'm going to do a short demonstration for you. Um, this is a new afghan design called the Beekeeper Afghan. And it's made up of hexagons and they're also uh, half hexagons at the sides. So you've got a right and a left half hexagon that will be made as well. And I'm just going to demonstrate for you a half double slip stitch which is the stitch that is used in this pattern, and also show you how this texture here is created. Um, you can see the ribbing, and then you've got a variated, uh, very different texture here, um, as we have these little honeycomb-shaped hexagons. Okay, so I'll show that to you right now. Just move that out of the way. Um, so half double slip stitch has three loops that are visible, very similar to a half double crochet, and it is created by doing a yarn over. And at this point here, I'm working back loops only, so I'm going into the back loop only. Yarn over, pull up a loop. So you have three loops on your hook, and then you simply pull that loop through the two loops on the hook. So that's your completed half double slip stitch. And I'll just demonstrate that a few more times for you. You can see how I am turning my hook so that I can easily slide it through the stitch. And I'll just complete this row. And this particular row is just entirely worked in back loops only. And I'm doing an increase here at the end of this row. And then I do a chain one turn. Okay, so on this row, you can see I've got the ribbing here and I've got this different texture here. And so I'm gonna show you how we are creating this. And simply by working the first half double slip stitch in back loops only. And then the next one is worked in what is termed lower loops only. You can see here this sort of ribbing on the front side. So this loop right here, this bottom one, is the lower loop. And then there is a front loop and a back loop. Those are the three loops of a half double slip stitch. So my next one is being worked in lower loops only. So I'm just going to insert underneath that lower loop and complete my stitch. And then I'm going to again go into back loops. So in order to see the back loop, I'm just going to um, turn my work so I can see the top of the row and go into the back loop. And then again, I'm going into a lower loop. So it just repeats like that to create that interesting texture. Um, lower loops only is not a very commonly used term which is why I am explaining it and demonstrating it to you. So you can very easily see where your lower loop is and work into it. So hopefully this is helpful for you. I hope you enjoy this new pattern. This is the January pattern in the 2023 Afghan Club.